Hello everyone, Lawrence here from Unicorn Reviews today with Be Quiet's brand new Silent Wings tree fan. We're going to start off with a bit of a physical overview. So as you can see, this is the 140 millimeter model. It's 25 millimeter stick. This is the standard model, no PWM control, no high speed version, because you can get a 1600 RPM high speed version. This one is 1000 RPM. And at that point, it should produce 15.5 decibels. You get 101.09 cubic meters per hour of airflow at 1.08 millimeters of water. The input power is 3.6 watts at 12 volts, so that's pretty cool. It's a 3-pin connector because this is a non-PWM fan, and it has a lifespan of about 300,000 hours. Now you can get a 120 millimeter fan as well. Um, you can get high-speed versions, you can get PWM versions, whatever floats your boat for what you're going to use, you can get. Now the unboxing experience is pretty okay. You just get the normal box. Inside are two other boxes. One has the fan, the other one has the accessories. I'm really happy with the accessories with Be Quiet fans because right now we even get SATA to 5 volt, 7 volt, 12 volt, whatever you want, uh, which is a massive improvement over the Silent Wings 2 fans, which came with Molex to whatever voltage you want adapters. Another big improvement are the fan mounts. Now with Be Quiet fans, and especially the Silent Wings fans, you can change the mounts. And this one comes with two different systems. You have the complete vibration dampening rubber systems with a push pin that you put through. And now we finally have decent normal style mounting holes as well. So the previous model came with these rather weird half length um, push on clips where you can then screw it, screw it. But the problem with that one was that you couldn't screw through it to put it on radiator or something. And these are now designed for basically anything. They say airflow radiators and heat sinks, which is everything really. Um, so you can now screw right through them much easier. I prefer this mounting system as well. It slides on from the side instead of from the top. And it is slightly more difficult to get off because there's a retention clip. Um, so you now have to put a little screwdriver in there to slide it back off again. But it's a very great improvement over the previous model. Another massive change now is that it's a six pole three phase motor, which basically means that there's six little coils in there to spin the fan around instead of the usual four. And that of course means that the interval between every coil is smaller and therefore you should get less vibrations and less noise. Also, the fan is now seven bladed. Uh, the previous Silent Wings 2 fan was 11 blades and it's now just quieter, it pushes more air at higher pressures, which is great. But of course, none of that is valid uh, without doing some testing. So here's how we're testing performance where you have a 3570K running 4.2 gigahertz, uh, 15 minute OCCT Limpack stress test. And we take the average of our four cores. From that average, we're subtracting this number right here, the indoor temperature, so that we have a delta temperature. And we're going to make sure we keep the indoor temperature within like 0.2 degrees of difference between all the test runs. We're testing every fan in the center of a Noctua NHD14 and we're running everyone at 5, 7 and 12 volts. And of course the PWM fans, which we have to run at 12 volts with different PWM percentages, we're making sure those percentages correlate to the same sort of fan speeds. So if we move to our table of decibels compared to the delta temperature, you can see that the Silent Wings 3 fans are amazing, really. So you can see 17, 18 decibels at 5 or 7 volts, uh, aka completely inaudible, uh, because the baseline was also 17 decibels, so completely inaudible at 5 or 7 volts. And at 12 volts, you can just about hear a slight humming somewhere far away from you. Um, that's like the noise experience you get with these. So they're obviously way quieter than any other fan I've ever tested. And that's what you expect from a new version of a fan by a company called Be Quiet. So these are super quiet, really like that. Now, um, pure performance again, really, really well performing. So I think we have a massive winner on our hands, especially when you think about the fact that they're also cheaper than the previous model. Uh, I think most of that is actually in the packaging because the previous model had a nice window with a Velcro on there and stuff. So be quite really just saved on stuff you didn't need. And they made a fan that is much better than the 
previous Silent Wings 2 fan. So guys, if you like this video, please press that like button. If you didn't, that's fine. There's the subscribe button for when I make a video that you do like. If you want to follow me or the channel even more, we have Facebook, Twitter, even Instagram nowadays, where I post a lot of cool pictures. Uh, if you want to support the channel, and this is the cool part, there are t-shirts available on Teespring, so you can just buy a cool t-shirt by Unicorn Reviews. It doesn't really make me a lot of money, but it's, I guess, a cool t-shirt to have. And if you want to support the channel more directly, we obviously have PayPal.me and Patreon. Uh, but for now, guys, thank you very much for watching. Next week, I also have a cooling video. It's going to be slightly more extreme and slightly louder than this thing.